Hi everyone. Welcome to this week's Behind the Poem. I want to share a very short poem this week. It's a haiku. And before I share the very short haiku uh, that I wrote, gosh, 16, 17 years ago now, um, I wanted to give a little framing. So I feel like this piece is in conversation with Tuesday's installment of Touch Base Tuesdays. And I'm feeling compelled to share it because so, so I've been single for nine years now. And I've dated people. I've had dating situations that have lasted one day, one month, a couple of weeks, a couple months, but none of those yielded what I would call an actual relationship. Um, where I was like boyfriend and girlfriend with someone, but <laughs> I don't know why I had to do it in that tone. I'm sure that's some internalized something. Um, and so as a single person that very much wants to be partnered and in a long-term relationship who loves romantic comedies and loves love and is a hopeful, hopeless romantic, it means I spend a lot of time thinking about what it is I'm looking for and naming for the universe and to people I love and know and people I date what it is I'm looking for. And so there are a lot of qualities I look for in a person, in a partner. But at the top of the list is to not be homophobic or transphobic or queerphobic or anti-LGBTQ or racist or sexist or misogynist or ableist and on and on and on, or, you know, anti-Jewish, which would be a bummer given that I'm Jewish. So like, hopefully that's a good start too. And, um, and I, I identify as a cisgender straight woman. And I also recognize that sexuality is a spectrum and subject to change. So that's my identity right now up to this juncture in my lifetime. So that means I've spent my time dating men and having a queer lens on the world or being queer adjacent. And I'm in a lot of queer spaces. I have a lot of queer people in my life. I just like don't have any space or tolerance for dating anyone or even like having folks in my life that are anti-LGBTQ. And so this haiku I wrote, as I said earlier, like 16, 17 or so years ago, because I realized like, well, yeah, here's the haiku. I also want to name that like, I'm going to say what the title is um, in the next clip. And I also recognize that language has shifted a lot. So like if I were to come up, and I could come up with a new title, but I'm gonna stick with what um, the original title. So um, here we go. I could never have a homophobic lover, a haiku. Why would you want a lover that discriminates against sex and love. Thank you. So that's this week's piece. And um, I don't love Lysistrata, the ancient Greek play. Um, I think there's some benefits to the piece, no doubt. But and also, could you imagine if not anyone, if like none of us had any tolerance for someone that discriminated against whatever, like we'd eradicate all these ills so, 
so quick. Take care of each other and yourselves and I hope a world, I hope a liberated world is on the horizon real soon. Take care.